Welcome, welcome to this talk with Adnan Baraka, the director of the films Fragments from Heaven, competing in the Cineasta del Presente sidebar at the Locarno Film Festival. Welcome, Adnan. And uh, the first questions for our friends that haven't seen your film yet, I would love you to say a couple of words on what the film is and how it came to be. Well, um, Fragments from Heaven um, is a film um, about uh, a nomad and uh, a scientist who search for meteorites in the uh, Moroccan desert. And uh, mainly it's a film about um, the quest uh, of a physical uh, object, but uh, at a certain moment, uh, it speaks about also uh, how uh, a quest of a physical uh, object can reveal something about uh, us as humans uh, and uh, our conditions. The film had a long developing process and in terms of it being labeled a documentary, even though it's way more than a documentary, how long was that process in order to secure the necessary funds while keeping uh, always the focus on what you wanted to do? Well, the, the film started um, uh, in 2014. It took uh, many, uh, many years of writing and development, uh, especially because I, um, I wanted to, um, to really explore the many uh, aspects of um, of this uh, particular quest of a physical object. And uh, it, demand, it demanded a lot of research, a lot of time to, to really explore deeply uh, the, um, the stakes and, uh, and um, the complexity of the, this quest. So it started as a documentary at the beginning, but while developing the, the, the text and while uh, shooting, I was like um, more uh, uh, taken by uh, by uh, by the film. Uh, especially, um, I was very um, interested in searching in, um, uh, in s searching in cinematic language, and I guess um, I did understand that finally um, this cinematic expression can transcend. Uh, the borders between the fiction and the, the reality at a certain moment. Uh, there is no fiction, there is no uh, the documentary, there is cinema, and I try, try to explore that um, in order to, to explore the, the, the stakes and the, and the complex, complexity of the film and somehow. So, um, so yeah, so um, we can say that uh, it's more... Um, cinematic expression than uh, a general uh, documentary or fiction, somehow. Maybe I'm here on a stretch, trying to stretch the concept of your film, but while watching it uh, completed for the first time, I had somehow the feeling that there might be a subtext to it, like we have been displaced all over, uh, borders are artificial creations made by the powers that are. And so therefore, trying to retrace, to track back our origin to the cosmos, is like reopening the discussion of where we do actually belong. Exactly, thank you for saying that. It's something that began, um, that began in, um, a very uh, uh, restrained uh, angle, and uh, progressively it became more wider, more wider, more wider. Because uh, the more you seek, the more the answers uh, drift away. And uh, at a certain moment, yeah, you follow them, you follow them, you follow them, and at a certain moment you stop because there are some answers that are unreachable. That's why at a certain moment I stopped because I was uh, uh, focusing just on humans, uh, on us, and on our conditions, uh, our quest. And it was 
it was really that. It, it was, um, for me, at a certain moment, it was uh, more a question of, uh, of uh, speaking about uh, this condition than trying to find answers, which are unreachable in any way. Another element that quite struck me while exploring your film was that it goes back to a moment in time, in history, where at the forefront of science and exploration were Arab scientists. And nowadays, we somehow forget this crucial element. And when we speak in common terms about Arab culture, there's also this very offensive idea that Arab culture is backwards, conservative, and so mm. on. While your film, with this beautiful, beautiful image of the uh, nomads searching for meteors, filmed as if they were the descendants of this noble scientist that explained us in the first place where we are, what the world is, and where we come from, that, that it felt as if you were tracing a kind of lineage from them in the past, so cold in the past, to us today. And I thought that it was especially moving the relationship between the nomad and the scientist where they developed this artistic, poetic conversation that is shaped through the distance. Absolutely, absolutely. I, I think, I think um, in the surface, we, uh, it's two different universes. Uh, it's two different worlds, two different environments, uh, two different approaches. But uh, the most inherent um, aspect that gather all of them in the film with us also, it's, uh, it's this quest. It's this uh, uh, wandering in this uh, earth. And, uh, and yeah, I tried to, uh, it, it was very difficult at the beginning, but I tried to, to really to try to find how, how we, we can link between these two opposite universe, an ordinary universe and a scientific modern universe. It, it was very difficult at the beginning, but, um, but I think that um, for me, it was um, very important that uh, the, the nomad uh, leads this uh, this link and this correspondence between uh, these two universes. Um, so yeah, I guess um, I guess uh, two both of them are uh, concerned by the same problem. Uh, finally, another interesting aspect of the film is that your film tr seems to be saying that maybe it's not important what you are looking for but how you look for something. Because the strategy by which you open up yourself to the adventure of searching might also have an impact on the outcome of your search. And therefore, I felt that there was this, this element as if the nomad was almost floating, as if following a distant Sufi melody while driven by the sparks of possible knowledge. The journey behind this, um, as, I, as I said, th this quest reveals uh, very complex um, aspects in, uh, in us as humans. And I, I think that um, as, as, the, as a, a nomad, a character in the film said, uh, once you search and you search and you search, uh, uh, continually, at a certain moment, you forget what you are searching uh, for. It's very complex as as aspect, uh, uh, the quest, the, the searching for something, uh, and uh, uh, yeah, the, maybe we can say that uh, why uh, searching for something that it is unreachable, or also we can say why searching for something that it is already here. So uh, the film, it doesn't um, suggest, uh, it doesn't give an answer to that. But it really, it, it, it explores only this aspect. 
and uh, and um, explore really this um, this concern about uh, really try to search for something. It's uh, it's human uh, and uh, this perseverance, this uh, tenacity to to really to to keep moving, to keep searching, to keep uh, having faith in something, in an idea. Whether we will find, uh, for example, in the film, whether we will find uh, the, the meteorite or not, but of course we will, something will reveal itself during this quest. And, um, and uh, we must grasp it, we must embrace in it, uh, uh, somehow. So would you say ultimately that your film is also a form of utopia? A form of utopia? Yeah. I, I, don't, I don't think so. I don't, I don't believe in utopia or dystopia and somehow. I believe in, uh, in, uh, in what is it. I believe in, uh, in uh, what's, what's manifest itself in the present, in the reality, uh, than just being in a, a projection in uh, something that, um, that uh, could be uh, something else. Uh, that's why I... As I said, I started by, by uh, filming an, a documentary and I found myself in, in, into this form of, uh, of cinema. And, uh, and uh, yeah, I don't think it's an utopian idea about the... the Since we're thing. speaking on, of how the film shifted and changed shape, how did the ending of the film Come about. I stopped uh, during the writing process. I stopped at um, at, uh, at a certain moment where uh, the nomads are suspended, are waiting for something else, and uh, I stopped for many months, just searching for how can I finish this film, and uh, I wanted something unconventional in somehow, but. Uh, inherent at the same time uh, and corresponds with the, with the idea of the film. And it was this kind of the return, and somehow. It's uh, uh, the last fragment in the film speaks about the return, which is physically uh, uh, presented as uh, the return of the nomad to his son, to his family, to his tent, to his area, to his space. And, uh, and for us, it's uh, a, the return of uh, something very old, uh, very, very old, which is uh, the, the very first instance of the creation of the Earth, those uh, floating pieces of, uh, of stones uh, floating in the space in weightlessness, and uh, they are gathered to create this planet and somehow. It means that, uh, yeah, there is the end and there is the beginning also. And afterward, there is also the beginning and the end. And it's the dead and the, the, the birth. It's a never-ending schema, you know, uh, never-ending uh, process of the universe. Well, this is the perfect way to end this lovely conversation, Adnan. Thank, thank you, you so much. much for being here today with us and uh, thank you to all of you. Thank you very much.